I was surfing the web a while back looking for some games until I got slapped left and right by the lies of P ads. My brain fell out from all the slapping so I had to get into the hype train and try it out myself. And these are my thoughts on Lies of P. When it came to the gaming experience with Lies of P, there were some pros and cons with it. One of the unique things about this game is its interactive storytelling and gameplay. You must make choices that affect the outcome of the story and these choices can lead to various paths, which got me wanting to play the game again, so I can see what the other endings are as well as unlocking more side passives abilities from the P organ. The interesting thing about the weapon is the ability to put different blades and different handles. Depending on the handle, you will see the difference on the holding, swinging, slashing, and piercing, which I thought was the most creative thing I've seen so far. I would say the Aegis Legion arm was my favorite out of the whole game. The Aegis Legion was the most busted thing I've found so far in the game. With this shield, you can dodge, hit, and block at the same time. It got me through easily and can get you out of the toughest monsters. One of the first things I've noticed was the stats upgrade system. When you begin the game, you can upgrade your stats through the Stargazer, which are the checkpoints. But as soon as you make it to the Kratz Hotel, you have to go and seek Sophia every time you need to upgrade your stats, which is kind of a hassle. Once you beat the game, for the next playthrough, you can upgrade your stats in any Stargazer. Some of the boss's attack patterns are questionable. There is a huge delay on some of their attacks, which becomes very frustrating. Almost midway of the game, I didn't realize how important the Rare Ergo was. Rare Ergo is dropped by beating a boss and on my first playthrough, I would set it all to level up. I thought that maybe the Ergo was given for that purpose. The game does tell you it is rare, but does not notify you or give you a warning that you can exchange it for a very strong boss weapon or amulet later on the game. I felt like I was being punished for using it, and sadly, you only get one ergo of each boss per playthrough. Liza P is very linear. The game is just straightforward path. There isn't much hidden stuff and not many detours. Well, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye!